Every season, my Girl Scout troop performs a service project to help our community. This fall, after learning about the rec recent recession, we decided to help homeless families at Hilltop House and with Family Promise. I learned more about <laughs> Hilltop House from Susan Dunlop, who has been involved for 17 years. Family Promise started because a woman saw the need to help people who were homeless, but it's very expensive to have to build a shelter or a place for them to stay, so she got the idea of using churches to be the host and the place that families could stay that were homeless. We help people because we feel like that's our mission. As a church, what we're commissioned to do is go out and help people in the world. And so the easiest way to do that, the most effective way to do that, is help people in our own communities. Family Promise helped 33 families, about 140 people last year, and we've been doing it for about 15 years. So that's probably close to 500 people have stayed at Hilltop House in the last 15 or so years. Sandy McCormick has been helping for 13 years. Hilltop House was bought in the early 1990s. About, about 1991 and 92. AA has met in Hilltop House. The, um, the youth used to meet over there in the um, either downstairs or in the garage. And um, in the early 2001, 2002, 2003, they used to have pumpkin patches over there in the lawn. They used to have pumpkins there that, that people could buy for um, Halloween, and that was the way the youth made their money for, um, for their... Uh, their mission trips and things. They have had um, Girl Scouts have met over there, the Boy Scouts have met over there, United Methodist women have met over there, United Methodist men have met there if, you know, if there's something going on here in the fellowship hall. So it's it's used UMCOR. Right now um, we have a group of group coming in November from Washington State and then the next group is coming from Southern California to work in UMCOR. We usually host for one week at a time four times a year, and we probably, between people donating groceries and making meals and then staying at the house with the families, there's about 75 people every time we host that helps out. Play with the kids or do activities with the children. Sometimes, particularly if the moms, you know, if there's just a single mom, they come home and sometimes they need to make phone calls to try to find a place to live or a job or just maybe kind of rest, and a lot of it's... Uh, Again, just kind of being available to help uh, help with the, with the children or just do they need someone to talk to. I feel empathy for the people that, that have children and are, do, not, do not have a place to live. I, can, I, can, I cannot even imagine the panic that they go through not having a place to, to let their kids go to sleep at night. Two years ago, this month actually, when I was volunteering, we had a young woman who was um, eight and a half months pregnant she didn't have any support from her family. She was a recovering heroin addict. She was 24 and um, was really excited about having her baby, about turning her life around. She stayed at the house. Um, about three weeks later, she had her baby and she called me to tell me that she'd had the baby. She didn't have anyone else to call. Like she had a baby and she didn't have a single other person to share this news with except me, a person she'd only met three weeks ago. And I got to be friends with her. Now she's moved to Denver. She's reunited with her family. Her son is healthy. He's going to be two next month. And she has um, completely turned her life around. I have learned a lot from people. One of the ladies that came two years ago taught me a, a, a different crochet stitch that I've never done before. So I was able to do that. Um, I, and last year when we had a, a Mexican family that was there, they made hor horchata for us, and I had never had horchata, which is really fun. Um, sometimes on Saturdays, if you work on Saturdays, they will, they will cook and you get to eat their traditional meals. My Girl Scout troop and I decided to throw a Halloween party for the families at Hilltop House. We served them dinner, did arts and crafts, played games, and sang songs. I hope the kids had as much fun as I did, and we made the world a better place.